Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Relationship Talk with Sharonda. I am your host. And today we're going to be talking about rimming. I hope you all are excited because I have some good information today. Okay, we're good, good, good. So if you've been getting your emails, then you know that I have been sending out a lot of emails about anal August because we are in August and this is anal August. So we're going to get into it. All right. So as you can see, I have some stuff that I'm going to be talking about. And then I have my big old cinnamon roll and I'm going to get into it. Just be patient. Okay. So rimming is the art of using the mouth, the tongue to stimulate the outside of the anal area. Okay. It does not involve any penetration at all. All right. It's just stimulating the outside part. And I'm going to give you the technique that we like. Okay. So make sure you have your pencil paper taken up. All right. Okay. So first of all, let me just say this. Um, we all know what, what goes on with our anal area. I don't have to continue to go into detail to let you know that that is shit's house. That's where shit lives. The anal area, that that's its place. It was put there, okay? But we can have enjoyable anal stimulation, anal sex or whatever, if you cleanse properly, all right? And the cleaning process is extremely important because we don't want to transmit bacteria or anything like that. So I was just sitting up there and I was thinking about the whole rimming idea of it or whatever and what it is that I enjoy so much about it. Because some people be like, oh, I just feel like so wet back there. I don't know. It, you know, it's whatever. If, if it's done, it's done. If it's not, it's not. Oh, well. For me, personally, it's more mental for me. It's the whole idea of you wanting to go to the most filthiest part of me. And you want to take and put your face, your nose, your mouth, your tongue, your everything. And you just want to get all up in the most filthiest part of me. And something about that just, it do something for me. It turned me on. So it helps when you have someone who is a person that does not mind exploring your body. All of that just makes it better. I ain't talking about a person that just go back there and just do a little lick and then come on up. That's like the people that do a little lick on the pussy and then slide the dick in. Like, no, no, that, that's not oral sex. That is not oral sex. All, that was a lick. It's completely different, okay? So, we're going to talk about this rimming and the things that you can do to make it a lot of fun, to make it tasty, and we're going to talk about techniques. So, we're going to get into it. So, as you can see, I have a cinnamon roll, okay? So, this cinnamon roll is going to represent the anal area. This part here is going to be our anal hole, and this is going to represent, like, the flesh and the butt cheeks because you know how a person taking a pull your butt cheeks apart so that your anal area is exposed? All right. So, let me just say this. When you rimming, you don't want to just go to the bullseye. You don't want to just start off going there. No, 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 no. You got to work your way up to this because this is the grand finale, okay? So what you want to do is you want to get some lubricant, flavored lubricant, um, whichever one you like. And I, I brought a few different kinds up here because I love the cookie flavored lubricant. That's my personal favorite. Um, but we have other ones, especially for my people who like Jolly Ranchers. We do have the green apple. The people who like cupcake, we have the cupcake flavor. And all three of these over here are strawberry. We have the Rousel strawberry, Fruitopia strawberry, and then the wet version of strawberry. Um, out of all of the strawberries, this one here, the Rousel's version, is the sweetest one. And on this side, of course, I love the cookie because it does taste like a real chocolate chip cookie. But the green apple, if you like Jolly Ranchers, this is going to be a real sweet one too. So what you want to do is take and you want to drizzle the flavored lubricant all over the outside of the ass, okay? You want to just make sure you put it there because you about to start putting in some work with your tongue and that shit about to start dripping all down everywhere and you about to put in some work, yeah. 
So you want drizzle, and now you gotta go lick that shit up. Oh yeah, you gotta lick it all up. Mm -hmm. You wanna start with the outside area. You wanna get to sucking and licking all on them ass cheeks, biting on them a little bit. But you wanna give different types of stimulation. You don't wanna keep doing a lick, a lick, a lick. No, you wanna do a lick, a bite, a tug, take your face, put it up in there. You know, just have fun with it. Have fun with it. Yes, it's going to be messy, but it's going to be so amazing to the person who you are rimming, okay? We're going to love that shit, all right? You want to take your time. You want to do a little bite. You ever have a person suck on your ass like they're trying to put a passion mark on it? Come on. Oh, I'm getting hot thinking about it. Whew. Anyway, <laughs> stay focused, Toronto. You want to do like little kisses and, you know, suck here or there. In other words, you just really want to get into it and have fun with it. And then you want to go to the grand finale, which is the bullseye, the center. Okay. And that's where you want to just get to flicking and all of this kind of stuff. Now, if you want to add a little more stimulation, because this just added taste, then we want to go to our double bullets. I'm a person that love Vaginal stimulation. Anytime anything is being done anally, I like to stimulate myself vaginally. I don't have no problem with playing with my own pussy at all. Meaning that if you got the backside covered, I can handle this front. You ain't got to worry about the front. But the thing is, when I'm getting stuff done anally, it's like I need all of that. Just anal by itself, it, it, ain't, it ain't enough for me. Like I need the whole shebang, okay? So we have the double bullet. You can take one. Of course, I would have one stimulating my clitoris, right? And then the other one, the mister will be stimulating me anally. And while he's back there with his tongue, he got this bullet tracing all up and down everywhere. Oh yeah. So this is waterproof by the way. So you don't have to worry about if the lubricant gonna ruin the bullet because it's not. Um, and if you wanna actually, because keep in mind, rimming is not any penetration. But if you've already talked to the person and you all have agreed upon penetration, if you want to take one of the bullets and actually slide it on in, you could do that as well. And you want to take the other one and slide it in vaginally, you could do that as well. It's, it's so many different things that you could do when you incorporate a bullet, okay? Now, we have the turbo bullet. Now, you say, well, Sharonda, what's the difference between these two bullets? This bullet only takes two AA batteries, okay? This one takes four AA batteries and it's eight speeds. Okay, so suppose I got my bullet up here in the front, right? I got one of them. I want to turn mine all the way up to speed number six, right? Because I like intense stimulation on the clip. Well, my partner can take the other bullet, which would be the one that he would have, and he can set it at a lower speed because he may not want to take me that fast. See, I'm taking myself fast in the front and he just kind of slow rolling it in the back, okay? So that's the purpose of having a double bullet that has the multiple speed settings, which is the turbo bullet. That's why I would introduce this one because sometimes you may want one thing and then the person that, you know, is back there handling something else, they may be doing something else. So either I may be in the front and I want to slow it down a little bit because I don't want to just be coming back to back to back to back. And then, you know, they got it going on in the back. They got that shit turned all the way up. So it's, you know, I just think that couples have to start having fun with each other and stop taking each other so seriously in the bedroom. Um, to my baby who um, sent me a message about uh, she's in an interracial relationship. She's a white woman and she is with a black man. And he require, he wants her to say derogatory racial slurs in the bedroom. Sweetheart, your bedroom is undefiled. If your man wants you to call him all kind of sambos and all kind of motherfuckers and other words, because we know how it could go, coons or whatever, baby, you let his ass have it, okay? You need to talk to him and find out, do you want to do some type of uh, master slave type play? Because people actually do that. It's, it's all kind of fetishes out there that people actually do. So what I'm saying is you you can't be so drawn back. I know it's a touchy, it's a it's uncomfortable. But if you are truly uncomfortable, you need to tell him like, this is just a bit much for me. I can't get out of my head enough to be able to do this for you. 
but have the conversation to find out what it is that he's trying to get out of the moment, okay? But I don't mean to get off subject, but I had to throw that out there because that was recently just sent to me. Um, when we are rimming, okay, uh, that can actually be foreplay. Or for some people, it is literally the grand finale once you have the orgasm, okay? So it's up to you, but personally, me, I'm speaking for myself, rimming is simply just foreplay. Like, we, we just getting started. And don't get to going from the back and then you go on the head and lick all the way up to the front. Oh, shit. You, <laughs> it's over. Gosh, it's over. Like, I, I ain't no more good. Because, you know, you got them motherfuckers that go from their back and then they hit their front up and then they go all the way and turn back around and go to the back. Oh, shit. Y'all, enjoy y'all Monday. This video was not intended to be a long video just to give you some good information. I am here at the store. You know the school has started back, so I am back at work. I take the summer off to spend time with my family, with my kids and stuff. Um, but they back in school. I'm back at work, so come and see me here at the PPG store. All of this is on the website. The website is listed below. My cash app is below if you want to send a tip. You feel free, okay? Subscribe to my email, www.thepppgstore.com. Make sure you, and I'm sorry, register for my email. Subscribe to my YouTube. I'm almost to the 10,000 mark. So I am super, super excited about us being up to the 10,000 mark. Like we're so, so close to it. So make sure you subscribe, especially if you enjoy this type of content, okay? Um, I'm going to put my cinnamon roll in the microwave because I'm about to eat. Yes, I am. But, um, you know, I'm always trying to come up with ways to be able to show you what it is that I'm talking about um, without really bringing the toys because I always have to remember, like when I'm on Facebook, that's Facebook's platform. I'm visiting Facebook. It's not Sharonda's platform. Even though it's my page, it belongs to Facebook. So they have their community standards. Instagram, they have their community standards. Um, even YouTube has community standards. So I have to try to stay within, you know, the guidelines so that my content doesn't get flagged because at the end of the day, I'm just trying to get the knowledge out there to you so that you all can grow and elevate in your bedrooms, which in return, your relationship is going to thank you for it. Your relationship. Yes. Your marriage, your whatever it is you got going on, you know, when the bedroom, all right, you know, my husband, I always say, a lot of people can deal with a lot of things, but a bad bedroom is something that people just, they don't do well with a bad bedroom. So I'm trying to help in that area. That is what God has graced me to help you in your bedroom. You all be blessed. You all enjoy your Monday and I will see you the next time.